Hello, everybody, and welcome to another great night of D&D with us here at Under Fractured Sky. I am your host and Dungeon Master. I am... Oh, hang on just a second. My stream is showing... Okay, there we go. That's weird. It was showing a different screen for a second there. Sorry about that. Um... So yes, I am your Dungeon Master, uh, Lady D, she, her, hers are my pronouns. And without further ado, let's get started with the intros. Uh, so Miyoko, carry us away. Hi, I am Miyoko, and I am uh, she, hers, and I am playing uh, Eye of the Forest, the Baxi Warlock. Fantastic. Dan, carry the weight. It's your turn. Hey, I'm Dan, pronouns he, him, and I play Jack, the Komodo Dragon Lizard Folk Ranger. And we're going to pass things off to Salix. Salix, tell him who you are. Uh, hey, everyone. Salix, uh, he, him, and I play Afringle, the Gnome Cleric. All right, and then hefting that weight on to Zul. Uh, hi, I'm Zul, he, him, pronouns, and I play Avne de Belvaux, the cockatiel kinky paladin. Very good, very good. Cheryl, pick up where Zul left off. I'm Cheryl, they, them, pronouns. I play Wayra Ednos, the half-orc bard. Thank you, thank you. And Bridget, you're going to want to make sure you're unmuted for this one. There you go. <laughs> it is your turn. <laughs> Uh, I'm Bridget, she, her, hers. Um, I play Holly, the uh, halfling rogue. And last, but again, certainly not least, the caboose of this here train, Mega. Uh, hello, my name is Mega, he, him, his, and I play the character Nola Ambrale, the fired up Genasi wizard. Fired up, baby. All right, well, when last we left our heroes... They were given the keys to a secret suite inside the Boar's End Tavern after drinking their fill and then some. Um, oh, excuse me just a moment. There we go. Sorry. Had to tweak something really quick. After drinking their fill and then some in celebration of Wrathbone's return to life. But during the night, everyone was visited by their dreams by otherworldly entities, some claiming to be the gods themselves. A result of too much to drink? Or is truth truly stranger than fiction? Who's to know? But now it's morning, and it's time to get their journey to Averhold finally underway. Rathbone, who drank the most of everyone, is still jubilant and chipper, humming a tune while making bacon, eggs, and flapjacks in the sweet's kitchen for everybody to enjoy. How? Look, if you're undead for that long, you got a lot of living to do. I mean, fair, but I mean, like, how does he have not have a hangover or something? He's he's magic like that. He's thick. <laughs> he is he is indeed. He is seven feet tall and probably in the high three hundreds. Maybe he just like maybe he's not completely alive, so his liver's still dead, so it can handle all the alcohol. If his liver was dead, that would be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not dead. It's undead. Undead liver. Processes enzymes quicker. Sure. I'll buy that one. <laughs> okay. So, uh, everybody just woke up. Um, you all are sharing this little bunkhouse kind of suite. Um, everything is very nice and luxurious. It's just nobody has any privacy. Uh, so... Who wants to go first? Um, yeah, Nova is already awake because um, uh, he was not hindered in any way the previous night. Um, true uh, enough. <laughs> you to say. Yeah, so so he's he's already going ahead and uh, applying his daily makeup, hum humming to himself very happily. Okay. And I will pick somebody at random if somebody does not volunteer. I think Forrest would would definitely be up early. Okay. So Forrest, what's I've... Forrest up to? Uh <laughs> first Forrest is um 
partially thinking to herself about uh, about the the dream from I believe it was the God of Justice, mm. and uh, she's she just kind of thinks to herself for a moment, and then just very quietly says. I did not refuse the order of one god to to obey the order of another one. And uh, she is going to uh, slink out of the room and uh, out of the tavern. Okay. All right. Uh, Avne, what's Avne up to? Um, I just, yeah, I just didn't say anything because I didn't want to interrupt people. But, um... They would do their breathing exercises, of course. And could could they do some kind of check to determine like who they were talking to in their dream? Sure. Uh, go ahead and roll knowledge religion. Religion. Yeah. Alrighty. One second. Where are you? There you are. That knowledge religion roll. Uh, sixteen. All right. Um, well, given the fact that you were floating in the sky, um, and this, this wispy kind of whispering voice was speaking to you, um, you can probably bet that that was indeed Merrile, who is your, your patron god as, as the, uh, as a paladin. <laughs> it's like, as soon as that clicks in their head, they're just like, <laughs> <laughs> they're like, <clears throat> but then they have to think about like what they said, and that they'll take that into contemplation. So after they're done with their breathing exercises, they'll head downstairs. Okay, um, head downstairs into the into the tavern. Yeah. Okay, it's locked because it's morning. Shit. I mean, wherever the wherever Rathbone is. Oh, he's he's in the suite. He's in the suite's kitchen, which is like built into the place. Oh, okay. I thought there was like a hotel or motel or something. Okay, yeah, he, we'll go there. Yeah, no, this whole room reeks of maple syrup. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> yep, they'll, they'll follow the smell. They they love their sweets. Oh, hey, what's up, bird? <laughs> yeah, hello there. Oh. <laughs> Hey, want some breakfast? Uh, that sounds lovely, thank you. Alright, I got some pancakes, some sausage, some bacon, got eggs, here you go. And he just hands you like a huge plate with all of those on it. <clears throat> uh, th thank you, thank you. <laughs> no worries, <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> And, you know, they'll just go to a table and eat, probably salivating over the sweetness. If I, uh, if I may, real quick, Sul, I think you're breathing into the microphone just a little oh. bit. Oh, sorry. Oh, thank you for, uh, for picking up on that. I didn't. <laughs> um, okay, uh, let's see. What is Jack up to? Jack, after waking up, uh... Although tempted by the pancakes, uh, yeah. Do you want now? He would he would walk over and just kind of just want to grab one pancake very quickly. Like he does. He doesn't even say good morning to anyone. Your your hand is slapped by a spatula. <laughs> Easy lizard, bro. <laughs> mm. Listen, I just want one little thing, and then I'll be going outside, so... Oh, all just right. one pancake. Just one pancake. All right, I can respect that. And he gives you a plate with a single pancake on it. He puts down the plate, grabs the pancake, walks out the door, eating it out of his hand. Oh, all right. <laughs> uh, morning to you, too, Jacques, and you're gone. Okay. <laughs> Fringle, you have the biggest fucking hangover ever because you drank a lot and you were small. <laughs> uh, Fringle is just going to walk into the room and sit at the table, I guess. 
Oh, hey. Look who it is. <laughs> Please don't talk so loud. Oh, sorry. How's this? That's it. <laughs> you want some pancakes? Yes. All of them. Please. <laughs> he gives you he gives you a very large portion. Now, the plates that he's handing out are like dinner platters. They're not the standard dinner plate. So you get this big, giant, heavy breakfast. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Hope you can eat as much as you can drink. <laughs> oh, definitely. I always eat a lot. That'll be the thing that cures what ails you. <laughs> oh. Good morning, Fringle. Good morning. And yes, I suppose it will cure all the ale. <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> Fringle's just got to dig into his breakfast then. It is the best pancake ever. Hands down. Anyway, moving on. What's no? Wait, Nova's already gone, right? Yeah. No, no. Nova at that point was uh, like uh, before others started going to the breakfast area, like putting on the makeup. Okay, so Nova, you have your makeup on, um, and I'll get to everybody else in a moment. Uh, now what? Yeah. So, so like now that he's like prepped up and like scarved up, he goes ahead and like goes to the goes to where everyone else is like convening for breakfast like good morning everyone good morning nova oh hey <laughs> oh remember not to talk so loud oh like, points to points to fringle right fringle at this point is just not paying attention to anything just scarfing down food <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to know fringles okay Yes, I do. I do hope you're feeling better after after the last night. I hope the water helped a little bit. Assumes he's still scarfing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll go with that. Uh, oh, hey, Red Novo. Oh, hello. Yeah, oh, here. Uh, uh, gotcha. Gotcha. Plate. <laughs> Oh, I didn't know you cooked. <laughs> you know, I haven't done it in years, but uh, it's good to know I haven't lost a lost a step. <laughs> so it notices the size of the platter. It's like, oh, this will be a challenge. <laughs> hey, it's never never a bad morning when you when you gotta face down a challenge. <laughs> it's a very admirable way to look at. Mm -hmm. I try. <laughs> yeah. It's a delicious breakfast. Thank you. And it's at that moment. Uh, it is Holly's time. Um. So Holly has come downstairs and uh, to try to get her mind off of her dream. She is thoroughly enjoying breakfast. And instead of sitting at the table like a normal person or halfling in this case she is sitting um has kind of camped herself out at the kitchen island behind where rathbone is cooking and you can tell by several sticky shot glasses in front of her that she has been doing syrup shots with rathbone and she's already finished off a couple pancakes uh half a dozen eggs and a hobbit a truly hobbit sized portion of bacon which is the best hangover cure ever. So she's happily swinging her feet off of her stool and arranging her remaining two fried eggs and a strip of bacon into a smiley face on her last pancake before messily rolling it up with her fingers and shoving about half of it into her mouth with a happy sigh. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> and... quite, hung quite hungry, I see. I'm always hungry after a good party. That's her secret <laughs> hat, Cap. She's always hungry. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> okay, and Wayra. What's Wayra up to? 
Okay, Wayra comes in from outside where she had gone after her dream. Um, and she looks at all of the food and goes, Yes, come on, uh, biggest plate you've got. I'm starving. Oh, sure thing. Uh, he pulls out of the cupboard a um, a serving platter, like you know, like a like a waiter would have, <laughs> and just piles on pancakes and uh, four eggs, big old slab of bacon, about eight or nine sausage links, biggest plate. Oh, this is good. but takes the plate. Sets it down. She gets a nice big mug of beer. Because why the fuck not? She's half hung over this morning. So, you know, hair, hair of the dog. And just tucks in. Good, good morning, Wera. She kind of just gnaws as she put in. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, no, I'm not going to speak for speak with her on that regard oh she's she's got very good table manners she's just starving <laughs> yes it is a good morning with all these pancakes and eggs indeed every morning's a good morning with a well-balanced breakfast I realize they've 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 had like you know rations the last couple of weeks or so yeah true enough true enough um this is real food <laughs> So with everybody sure. else served, uh, Rathbone finally serves himself a large plate. Um, he sits on a stool next to next to Holly and just goes ham on it. He does not have table manners, so he's like, "Oh, oh, 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 oh. noisy eating." Yes, how dignified. Have they with the proper table manners? Mm. Oh, what's up, bird? Uh, it, it is off day, and could you be a little more cleaner, please? Oh, yeah, sure. And he, like, and his tongue just, like, sticks out of his mouth and just, like, licks all over his face like Scooby-Doo. Gets all his maple syrup off. And then he... Whatever. Then he Whatever goes back works. to... <laughs> then he goes back to... Eating a little more gingerly, perhaps, but still not, you know, refined. Uh, I'll take it. So, um, before everybody gathers to finally get this show on the road, does anybody want to do anything else? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, forest. Uh, so, did Jack walk outside the tavern Dan yes he would have left the building uh Forrest is going to be like pacing a little bit uh outside and kind of muttering to herself just like I probably would need a little bit of uh, maybe maybe this uh, uh, Jack uh, perfect timing I mm. if I if I may, I could use your help with something. Uh, need something skinned or something? Yes, quite possibly. All right, what the hell? What is it? I need to go and buy a chicken. Okay. And Can't then, just... uh, well, you will see. Come. All right, whatever. Jack's going to follow. Okay. Uh, Forrest is going to go to the... A uh, place that the cat told her about. Uh, it's still it's still pretty early, right? Yeah, it's uh, it, if you had to estimate it, it's around like seven thirty in the morning. So it's so, it, people are like up and doing their things, but it is still yeah, fairly like doing early. Their, doing their morning routine, but not quite active. That kind of early. Uh, there's a house with a small yard at the end of, uh, at the end of this main street, at the other end of this main street that you're on. Um, and in that yard are some chickens. Excellent. And, uh, Forrest is like, just going to, uh, lean 
like as as she and Jack are just kind of like standing for just a second uh, in front of this, she's just gonna lean over very slightly and just be like, "A cat told me about this place," and then she's just going to walk forward. And uh, is it is it gated or you said it's there's a it's a yard with chickens in it, right? Yes. It... Uh, she's. Go ahead. There, there is like a little bit of a picket fence around it. Uh, she's going to go up to the fence and uh, call out, Hello, could I please uh, inquire about buying a chicken? No response. Is there anyone there? Are you awake? Should we come back later? No response. Jack would, he would go kind of up to the door and gently knock. No response. Is there a window he can look through? Sure. All right, he's going to try to look through a window, see if anyone's inside. It's at that moment that a human man, uh, human man, (laughs) uh, an elderly man with a long beard uh, just kind of thunders on up to the two of you and says, What are you doing in my house? Uh, apologies. We came to inquire about buying a chicken. Oh, okay. All right, that's all. I was just getting some feed for them. Ran out of the uh, last of their feed this morning, so I got to make sure I got it. And he shows course. you the big bag that he's hefting. He's quite spry for an old scrawny man like this. Of course, we apologize for the trespassing. We <laughs> did not receive any response and wanted to make sure that someone was home. Well, yeah, nobody was home. That's why you didn't get one. Uh, of course, we see that now. Yeah. So uh, I I, wish to buy a hen from you. Uh, how much, if they are, they are available, how much would one be? Oh, gee, you want, you want one of the hens. Oh, boy. Um, see, I usually raise these for... Uh, for their eggs, you know? Of course, I completely understand, and I understand that it would not be cheap, but I very desperately need one. Oh. Why? To get eggs of my own. And I'm going to roll a deception check for that. Okay. Eight. Did you roll it on the on the roll twenty? Yes, 20? I did. I did. Okay, for some reason it's not showing up yet. It might be lagging a bit. Yeah, I think I I recall something. Um, yeah, well that doesn't pass. He's like, uh huh. Does it matter why I wish to buy the chicken? Well, yeah. I mean, these are. Wow, I just completely forgot my own geography for a second there (laughs) these are west of tally reds you know how rare these are no would jack know (laughs) being the food expert uh roll knowledge god damn it we're wasting so much time with this i love it uh roll knowledge uh history (laughs) three (laughs) seems Uh, legit there's yeah, well, there. Uh, yeah, there seems right. Yeah, they make Dude. the finest eggs, but you know you don't you don't seem to be uh, interested in their eggs. Uh, Do you really need the hen? Could you just like need the? No, no, it it needs to be a hen. Yeah, uh, tell you what, uh, keep walking. She's going to pull out a platinum piece. Are you sure? Uh, that. Uh, okay, now you're just pulling out that big amount of money for a simple chicken. I am even more suspicious. I've... Uh, you may be suspicious all you want. I can assure you that this chicken will not be used for any untoward purposes. But I do need this in. 
Yeah, with a platinum, I could totally find that. He he mutters to himself, and and, and mm-hmm. yeah, right there, but I don't know. Um, no. Uh, no. No. Not even for a platinum. <clears throat> Not even for three platinum. Now you are trying to haggle. A platinum and a half. Nope. I'm going to cast friends on him. (laughs) (laughs) Why? I must have this chicken. Jack is... After after that dream, Jack is not... I cast no. friends on him. There is no save because it's just a, uh, it, it is just a cantrip. I have advantage on charisma checks directed towards a creature of my choice that is not hostile towards me. When the spell ends, the creature realizes that I used magic to influence its mood and might be and becomes hostile towards me. If it is prone to violence, it might attack. Not guaranteed. But uh, uh, concentration is up to a minute, and I'm going to say, look, look, my friend, I am simply coming. I I understand that these are very rare chickens, but I am coming in good face. I bring money. As you yourself said, you could buy more chickens. Certainly, please, we can do some business. I I promise you there is no untold reason for uh, for for this hen, but I... I require a hen. And I will roll persuasion on that with your permission. Go ahead. 21. He looks like he's about to cave, but he holds strong. You're going to make me bring out the big guns, aren't you? <laughs> it's at that moment that you hear a familiar voice from behind you. You know, he said no the first time. I'm sure he ain't going to be very happy with you in a minute or so. <laughs> Is that you, Dead Eye? Well, it ain't me pappy, that's for sure. <laughs> Good to see you again. Wish I could say the same. That was much the point. Very well. No chickens in. Well, doesn't look like I'm going to be plucking or cooking any chickens anytime soon. Come on, you little minu. (laughs) Jack just going to turn and walk away. Cajun for cat. It's a yeah, it's a French term okay. of endearment for Yeah, I get to use Cajun finally. <laughs> <laughs> what in tarnation did you want with that hen anyway? He's walking with you now. Yeah. I it has to do with uh some of my abilities. Your abilities. Indeed. I need the... I need the heart of a hen. It is for some of my magic. Hmm. Well, you ain't gonna do good getting getting any of his hands. He's uh, rather proud of them. I can see that. Is there another place that I can get a hen from? It does not need to be a high quality hen. Discount hen store? I don't know. <laughs> is well, there if, if there is any place that sells food or such on the way to Everhold, I'm sure you could just buy a hen heart. I mean, you could ask a butcher. It's not exactly like hearts are really going, you know... The the issue is that I must extract it while the hen is alive. 
I right. cannot simply. It, it is not so simple as going to a butcher shop. Oh. Well, that sounds rather cruel. I am not going to lie and say that it is not. But it is what I need. Well, you know, the Everhold games are going to have uh, livestock shows and whatnot on the outskirts of town. You might certainly find somebody more willing to part with them. Mm, maybe. Just to lash that platinum, there's someone who will just sell you a whole bunch of chickens. He said no to a platinum? Yeah, he, 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 he said no to three platinum. You, we didn't offer that much, but he said he wouldn't take it for three. Hey, daggum, he loves those chickens. He was extremely suspicious, which I suppose I cannot necessarily blame him, but... I really want to eat that chicken now. I want to taste how expensive it is. I was going, I was going to let you have the entire rest of the chicken. I do kind of wish I could taste the chicken now. Anyway, I think y'all got somewhere to be, don't you? Yes, uh, actually, uh, did I? There is one other thing I'm uh, hoping to find. I, mm -hmm. I do not know if it is here. Uh, do you know if uh, there might be a glass eye for purchase anywhere? Jack like snorts. That was supposed to be like an audible snort from Jack. Okay, first of all, you couldn't get a chicken heart. You think you could get a glass eye in this town? I gotta say, there's a little bit of an irony in asking a blind man where he could buy an eye. <laughs> <laughs> I figured of everyone here, you might be the one to know that one. No, there's nothing, nothing wrong with the... I am missing no eye, I just can't see at him. No, fair enough. No, nah, nothing like that in this town. You know, you're gonna want to get, like, some precision glass, uh... Class people, I don't know, whatever they do. Hmm. It would be nice to to have this before going to Avahold. Uh, we have to stop by Nack on the way, so we'll we'll get it. Yeah, Nack's pretty lively. They probably got somebody. Hell, you could probably get a chicken there too. Hmm. Very well, then. Yes, that that will work. All right then. And it should be about any minute that that man should get very angry. What the hell? <laughs> Y'all best be running. I'm going to ease over the situation. <laughs> I cannot say that that uh, reaction is not amusing. He tips his hat to you and starts walking back towards where the chicken farm was. Now, hold on, Amos. Settle down. Da, 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 da. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't think there was anything else that I needed. Uh, yeah, those are those were the, the big things. So I, I'm, I'm good. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. You are excused of all crimes before the before the year of 2018. Mm. Shit, that doesn't cover anything in this yep. last year. Yep, I'm sorry. I, there's only so much <laughs> I can do. All right, well, um, does anybody else want to do anything before we depart? Uh, I got nothing. I was going to talk about the dreams, but I was going to be on the way there. Yeah, we can talk on the way. Yeah. So, everybody is gathered together. Uh, and Rathbone is the one that seems to be corralling everybody. Everybody just to... <gasps> Excuse me. Sorry. Oh, yeah. One thing. Yeah. It's very minor. Uh, Avni will put the sir coat on. Oh, very nice. Yep. That's, that's it. Gotta look nice and dapper when you make your way to the big city. Yeah. Look at uh, look at that proud bird, that beautiful bird. <laughs> look at him go. Look at him go. <laughs> All right. So, you guys get started on your trip, and yes. I'm just gonna gonna fast forward a little bit because it's not a very eventful trip. Um. 
you're going down the uh, the main road for the most part that uh, Blount had told you to avoid. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. That Blount had told you to avoid the first time you guys left Bay Ferry, but now it's completely safe. Uh, you do have Kajoa and um, Grumcha with you as well. Um, <laughs> and you guys are encountering nothing as far as resistance goes. This is pretty smooth sailing. Boy, it is awfully quiet on the road after you kill almost all the bandits in the area. You killed the bandits? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there were bandits. Were mm. bandits. Oh, except for except for four. Mm. We met some very nice bandits. But oh, they yeah. weren't really bandits. They were more like traitors. They were more highwaymen. <laughs> there were men on the highway, of course. Ah, oh, that's like an in joke now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> because I I had to correct myself like nine times. Say no, they're highwaymen, not bandits. <laughs> I had to do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's fair. That's fair. <clears throat> I hope we find them again. I owed them a drink at Averhold, so we were going to. That is true, yes. But yes, the, the bandits that set the town on fire, uh, they had to go. Nova says, matter of factly. Straight face. <laughs> mm -hmm. So here's the map. And you guys pass through Edgewood again. Uh, and it's at Hill's Foot where you guys encounter the village burnt to the ground. Um, but it looks like they're already getting like the rebuilding under underway, which is good. Was it nice? Was it Hill's Foot or Bend? It was Hill's foot that got that actually got burnt down. Bend was in the okay. process of being burnt down. Right, that's right. Thank you. Yeah. But yeah, it looks like the relief effort is underway. Uh, the Samosora clergy, uh, they're on top of it. Uh, they got builders. They got, uh, they got like a relief tent, a disaster relief tent. Um, there's nobody like really in medical need anymore. But you know, they're still serving hot food. Um, you know, giving away like toys to the kids and stuff. Very nice, very nice clergy. Um, it's at that point that you take a turn south down towards Horin. Uh, not very remarkable. And then Defent, also not remarkable because I didn't have anything planned for them. <laughs> it's like all cardboard cutouts as we pass by. Yeah, sure. It's, it's, they're cardboard car, cardboard cutout. <laughs> it's like that scene in Blazing Saddles. Yes, I was just thinking of that. I was like, <laughs> I was thinking of the vine with the cardboard cutout bear. <laughs> oh, I just realized I didn't um, upload the. I'll show that another time. Um... <clears throat> Excuse me. Wow. Um... Yeah, so you guys arrive at Knack, and yeah, you make your way to uh, make your way to Twice Old Tales, and just Forest is specifically avoiding Twice Old Tales. Just as you are, go ahead. Sorry. As... <laughs> This forest very specifically avoids twice sold tales. Would you like to wait out here for us? For us? Mm, yes. All right. Not a problem. It's at, just as you're having that little conversation that you hear a familiar voice. Oh, hey, what's up? Uh, greetings. Hey. <laughs> Ah, uh, so this is where you guys hole up when you're not uh when you're not up in Bay Theory, huh? Is that the Ranges? Yes, it's no. Ranges. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I was in character. Yes, it is it is Ranges. Well you could plainly see him, so I mean He says a familiar voice, uh, yeah. 
Well, you can okay. turn around and ask, but or look. <laughs> I could, I could turn around, but I don't want to see Mac. <laughs> look, I know they have the same actor. That doesn't mean they sound the same. I know they don't sound the same, but <laughs> they might be standing together. <laughs> you never know. Anyway, <laughs> so got you hold up in the back of this little uh, little bookshop, huh? Something like that. Indeed, for a while, yes. You guys want to see we something funny? Under, uh, oh, go ahead. We were under a uh, house arrest. House mm. arrest. It's different from jail. Mm. Well, I guess there are worse places to be holed up. Tell you what. I'm going to show you guys something fun. Follow me. Any any Find going? Fun. Oh, don't don't worry about it. It's gonna be great. Yeah, Matt uh, hasn't seen me in a while. Uh. Yeah, this should be interesting. I will remain out here. Enjoy. Don't steal any chickens. And Jack walks. Um, <laughs> Wait, what what did you me. what did you? What did you two try to do? It's Nothing. Like, it's I didn't buy. I didn't to buy it again. All right. So Forrest stays out there, um, and everybody else uh, follows Regis's lead. Now, when you enter the store, uh, Mac is actually not at the counter where you expect him to be. Uh, I must be taking a break. Huh. Hmm. So, Rengis, as if he's been here before, goes immediately to the back storage room where the secret door to the place is, uh, to the, you know, safe house. And he just kind of shoves it open rather than, you know, going through, like, the intricate puzzle that Max seems to have had on the place. <laughs> the stupid after, little puzzle. After Rengis opens the door, they just, like, <laughs> like hello here. So, um Rengis already is standing in the center of the carpet when when you guys are like falling him in and you both kind of fan you all kind of fan out to the sides because that's the way I have the icons arranged. <laughs> Let me zoom in for the people at home. Hey, how's it going? You've got some nerve showing up here. Max stands up from his chair. Their chair. Nice to see you, Nick. Mac. Yeah, well, I wouldn't have wouldn't have wanted you to come around if you had this guy in tow. Oh, is that a way to talk about brother? I am no brother of mine. <laughs> Tell that to our dad. Sorry? This is a strange family reunion. Look, stop <laughs> telling people we are related. Why? It's the truth. Yeah, but I... I don't need nobody to know who, who our dad is, alright? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh yeah. Um, so confused. I think they're both half god. Ding. Uh, uh, okay. uh, well, we. This is great. Wonderful. Yeah, you guys tend to uh, tend to attract a certain type. I'm just gonna say. <laughs> 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 yes, lots of gods recently. Oh, really? Uh, oh, yes, I, yes. Yes, I had a conversation last, uh, back in Bateri. It was very small and uh, there was a lot of interference, but, uh, but uh, I felt very good afterward. Oh, you too. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean, you too? What do you mean? My accent slipped. <laughs> uh, 
I believe I spoke to Morelli last night. I spoke to the Great Wood. I spoke to the Mitchell King. Okay, so they're both completely dumbfounded now. How? Traded expressions. Just hey, from mate. just from way off in the distance. I spoke to the God of Justice. <laughs> I may have had something. God of thievery. <laughs> oh, well, of course, of course, she'd be the one to talk to Dad. <laughs> I just shut. <laughs> okay then. What? Uh, oh yeah, God of Secrets. He's he's our dad. Huh. Clearly, that trait didn't get passed down, not to one of us at least. <laughs> What's the matter? Cat got your tongue, everybody. Uh, no, she's in the garage outside. I think he meant that cat. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's easy to make that joke. No. Conspicuously missing is Rathbone. Because I forgot to make a token for him. <laughs> <laughs> he's here, trust me. He's he's here in spirit. Well, not in spirit. Well, uh, We'll say that yeah. he's over here. <laughs> So dang it, dang it, Rathbone, you died again. <laughs> Shit. I... Okay, we're going to go back to theater of the mind for a minute because it's going to be awkward interacting with Rathbone when he's not there in token form. <laughs> so good. See, I just okay. figured he was outside with Forrest. Mm -hmm. uh, Nova like, looks toward uh, towards Mac and asks, why are you so ashamed of your father? Well, when, uh, oh, sorry, that was, that was to Mac. Yeah, that was to me. I'm the one that has shame over it. And I'm slipping into Ireland now. <laughs> Fuck me sideways. I can't do the accent right now. Uh... It's all good. Just you can. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Right, well, I'm the one who doesn't want to instantly be distrusted, you know? Yeah, you know, it's uh, strange pink-haired tabaxi. Yeah, that's that's going to be totally trustworthy. It's more trustworthy than you, Mr. Tattoos and fish hooks in your ear. That's a long name. <laughs> Mac is getting flustered. He's a, he, they're all poofed out. And it's at that point that Mac just uh, finally has it, just hauls off and slugs Rengis, and Rengis goes flying into a bookshelf. Oh. Oh, that was a nice punch. Oh, oh it's been a... Ooh. Been a while since I've felt one of those ones. <laughs> My turn. And then Ren just like no. comes back and uh, starts getting into a punch out with uh, with Mac, and they're like, they're basically DBZ fighting. I'm just gonna <laughs> say that they're DBZ fighting. There's like, and like the same three frames of animation over and over again. Um, should we do something? I believe we should. I believe I'm not going to get involved. I could try to contact someone else to get them to stop. I'm going to start taking bets. Are you going to call their dad? <laughs> um, I could try. I don't know how <laughs> that would work. I've never called a, a god before. <laughs> <laughs> if you pray and you call to God. True enough. True enough. So they're DBZ fighting, and uh, it's at that point that Rathbone uh, 
finally makes his presence known from uh, coming up behind where Avne was standing. Oh, hey, hey, guys, hey. And th they stop. I didn't want to yell. Oh, hey. Hey, Mac, look who it is. I can't be. Oh, it is. It is wild. <laughs> 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 so, Mac goes up to Rathbone. Oh, how's it going, kitty cat? Mac gets flustered again. All right, I'll give you that one for free. And then Rathbone just like wraps his his arms around Mac and like lifts him up, and Mac is like looking like kind of angry and pissed off, like a cat that doesn't want to be picked up but isn't really resisting. <laughs> Mac has grumpy cat face. Good. He's memeable. It's been too long, Rathbone. Ha, oh, yeah, house. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to show up and give uh, give my sibling here the business. <laughs> Take care of yeah. yourself, everybody. And then he walks away. You, you too. He just waves, like, without turning himself around. He's doing that weird, like, anime wave where they're, like, walking away, but they're still waving. Yeah. Well, that was a thing. I thought it was. Kind of left weirdly, really suddenly, too. It was weird. Mm. Yeah. It's almost like, almost like the same person voices all three of us and didn't want to do it anymore. <laughs> Looks at the camera. What camera? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> we should, should we do what we need to do here? Which is what exactly? Well, we believe we need to gather some things. Okay. So we should do that. All right. <laughs> Mac pointedly eyes Jack. Yep. That's the one thing I came here for. All right. Well, I suppose I better tell you what it's all about then, too. Uh, might as well. Can't get, to, can't get any weirder. So. I'm sure good. And this is where it cuts to story time. Uh, where I decide I don't want to do the accent anymore. <laughs> uh, it's It's been a long day. Um, so it's at this point that Mac uh, tells you, uh, tells everybody in the room that this pendant that Jacques woke up with around his neck um, after being attacked um, and after his entire village was uh, sadly killed uh, belongs to a sect of Antare worshippers that was active about 200 years ago, towards the end of the end, the end of the Crimson Centuries, where everybody was at war. Um, and the sect was called the Redeemers, and they were a secret society. They were trying to, um, and they were trying to do something noble, you know, like really boost up Antare's name after all these years of bloodshed, try to try to refocus him back towards, uh, you know, a more noble kind of path or in, in other people's eyes. They didn't, they didn't succeed. Um, the God of war was still kind of largely shunned for the last 200 years, but they still tried. And that's the, that's the short version of the story. So, Lizard friend, when you were given this, somebody was sending a message. And that message was what exactly? I don't know. I just know that they sent a message. 
Otherwise, I wouldn't have left it on you. It's not like you just walk around going, oh, hey, there's a passed out man who looks like he's bleeding. Let me put this weird piece of jewelry on him. When does that happen? Except that one time. <laughs> well, we, you know, so we were chosen by each of the gods, right? Like, we we're each an agent of one of the gods. Oh, is uh, that what you've been told? Something like that. Ah, it's just random chance, I think. Considering we had mess from the god in our head, I don't. I was in, I was in a forest, and I spoke with the great wood. And now I have a token of a of a sect of Amtare. I don't know. If it's if we were chosen by one of the gods, I'm confused as to who it is now. Was it theater? Was it maybe perchance Amtari is acting in a different way? I don't really think about this stuff, but considering how the day is going, I'm starting to think more about it. Aye, it is, uh, it is getting harder and harder to ignore, isn't it? Look, we all kind of had a, and, but, look, I'm going to give you a little peek behind the curtain. Between myself, Blount, and the others that run this organization, we kind of disagreed on how we were going to break it to you. Blount in true blunt fashion just wanted to say outright you're chosen by the gods you gotta do this or else they're gonna get you I thought maybe a subtler approach would be better Rangers didn't give a shit that's just Rangers and a couple others uh, kind of were evenly split between the two sides and I'm shifting into Ireland again. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck it. We're gonna go. So, yeah. Minus that character break. That's where he kind of leaves off. They kind of leave off. Hmm. Well, I've only have one little question then. Would you or... Anyone else of this little organization? Uh, this one, the one we're in right now. I don't know of any redeemers. No, if they still exist, or oh, real shit. Did we lose you, Dan? No, I'm still here. <clears throat> okay, I think. Uh... I there was like a good three seconds of silence where I didn't hear anything from you. Well, I thought you were gonna keep speaking, so I had stopped talking. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Sorry. That's right. All right. Well, uh shit. Where did I leave off? They say this to a uh, to a room of people just listening to them. Oh, I... Yeah, I'm just listening. <clears throat> well, that's the thing. And he looks to uh, he looks to Rathbone. Uh, hi. <laughs> no further words are spoken. Mm. Well, can I have that back now? Oh, yeah, here. Mm, thank you. Uh, that, I blended the two voices. That was supposed to be Max saying that. <laughs> Fusion! Ha! They, they turn into math bone. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's a mathematician. Uh, things, okay, I'm kind of getting a little spacey, so just to kind of refocus myself and uh, the rest of the chat, I think it's a good time to go on break for a little bit. 
Sounds good. Your key door. All right. And I'm just going to leave that little ad up there for now because uh, less than a month from now, we're doing a 24 hour stream, um, which is hilarious considering how how much I'm stumbling through just one hour right now. How am I going to do 24 hours? Who knows? Be there to find out. Um, we'll be back in uh, about five minutes, and I'm just going to run a quick little ad break um, in the meantime. Woo. Those of you who are subscribers are, you know, party to this. Um, you get to enjoy us continuously talking if uh, you're still in the chat. You get to be party! party. I'll be right back. Party over here! <laughs> I forgot how much whiskey Dundweller just like puts in my throat just to uh, like I, I'm still like all, all tickle throat it's like doing the pig noises all over again Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like, like puerquito, like pig. Oh. Like, well, I guess you could all you could also say cerdito, but see now that be, that's the one that I would have picked up on. But it's like, but much like. Much, uh, much like in any language, there are there are multiple names for for various animals and subtle variations and whatnot. Playing a three minute ad break right now for people who aren't subscribers, because I can do that now as a Twitch affiliate. I can get that ad money. Dee dee dee. And, you know, might as well do this during the break, you know, rather than, you know, stop everything. Yeah, because a UFS party don't stop. Except when it does. Shh, don't let them know. <laughs> don't let them in, don't let them know. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, I, I cannot do Elsa right now after after the number that that Dundweller left on my throat. Jesus. <laughs> I didn't even expect to bring him out today. I was just like, let's move away from this chicken shit. <laughs> Quite literally, I in was, that case. I was very ready to use charm person on, on that dude. <laughs> I was sitting there. I was sitting there, just like, "Oh, you're gonna make me bring out the pig guns, aren't you?" And then it was like, "Nope." <laughs> All right. Well, uh, the ad break is over, so we're back on. Um, but our break doesn't end for another two minutes. So, okay. All righty then. So, if anybody needs I to uh, get some uh, water, uh, you go right for it. If you haven't yet. Thank you for uh for the for that uh reaction at the end of the uh, at the end of the friend spell. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, and speaking of thank yous, uh Lisk, thank you so much for your one thousand bits and also the one hundred bits earlier. Um Yeah, thank you so much for your support. Yay! Yay. Also, honestly, like during that chicken scene, I don't know why, but I was kind of thinking of uh, of that one sketch from. Uh, um, oh crap! Why why am I suddenly forgetting the name of this? Um, it's a, it's not it's not Seattle not Seattle, but it's like a it's like a city in Washington. 
I uh, uh, Olympia. No, no, it's like there's like the, there was like the name of this uh, there was the name of this show like with some uh, with like a former SNL cast member. I'm suddenly forgetting names now. Uh, I don't know. Fuck me running. I don't know what you're talking about. But uh, no, but regardless, uh, like it was like this, uh, it was like this couple, like, you know, like, uh, you know, cruelty free kind of thing. And like, they were just like, they were just like really talking up, like, like they went to like this, like this restaurant or store or something. And they were, they were talking up like, you know, just how, uh, you know, how, how great their, how greatly treated their chickens were. Oh, oh, to, like, are you talking about Portlandia or Portlandia? That's it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cause Fred Armisen and then, yeah. Yeah. Fred Armisen. That was it. I could be bad with names. Uh, Especially because well, Portland is in Oregon, not in Washington. What? Oh, that was, yeah. then that's my bad. Yeah, because like, I was like I, struggling, like what the fuck else is in Washington? And then yeah, like I was sitting here like there's Seattle, there's there's Seattle, Olympia, there's, there's Spokane. <laughs> is he talking about Twin Peaks? I know that's a place in Washington. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so I'm just gonna take a moment to talk about the 24-hour live stream. Uh, so, and then we're gonna get back into the game. So, yeah, 24 hours starting November 9th, at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, we're gonna be having a uh, prolonged session of Under Fractured Sky, but we're also having uh, we're having three different one-shot campaigns uh, throughout the evening, um, and we got some great guests like Edward Bosco. Uh, who some D and D fans might know from the Unexpectables. Uh, we got Sabrina Symington, who is the author and artist of the Life of Bria uh, webcomic. Who uh, is awesome? Bria is awesome. We've got shit. I don't want to bungle his last name. Their last name. Kwiatkowski. There we go. Dash Kwiatkowski, who's the uh, DM of Lost in the Multiverse. Uh, Izzy Bear seven one three. Uh, Izzy is a good friend of mine in real life and a good streamer in her own right. We got Woe Dog, who is also an amazing streamer, and Woe Dog's fiance Bella, who is a uh, who's a wonderful writer and blogger, and of course, and he's in the chat right now. Arthur Bones, yay, yeah, yay, Arthur! Woo-hoo! Hooray for Arthur! Everybody- That's my buddy. Cheers out hey, for Arthur. What a wonderful kind of day. <laughs> <laughs> well played. Well done. Isn't well it, done. Isn't it great to go somewhere where everybody knows your name? <laughs> <laughs> Only if they have tossed salad and scrambled eggs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do with them. They're calling again. Okay. All right. So uh, I'm going to say break over. Um, is everybody back? Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Bridget, are you back? Present. I'm here. Okay. Present. All right. And I do believe that's everybody uh, that I can tell. Um, I Did Cheryl speak? Cheryl? Well... I mean, Cheryl, Cheryl. I'm here. Yeah. I, was I, I figured that Cheryl was still here because we live in the same apartment. And... I was about to say, <laughs> you didn't see me leave my room, so. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't see them leave their room, so I figured that they were still here. It's fine. Brid- Bridget and Cheryl are always here, lurking in the shadows. Yes. <laughs> well, at least one of them is. As a character, anyway. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 okay, so moving on. Um, so you got that little uh, little earful from um, from Mac about what the uh, about what that pendant was after doing some research, finding out it belonged to a sect of the Amtari clergy. And just to uh, refresh, Amtari is the god of war who was primarily worshipped during the 
during the Crimson Centuries, which were like centuries of warfare that happened over 200 years ago before peace took hold. And um, yeah, so that's where we're at. Anybody got anything to say? Shock, I'm sorry. I didn't know that. Know about what? About... They did talk about the village, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. About your village and everything. Well, I wasn't exactly going to tell the rest of you about it. I had no reason to. It is fair. I still... I'm still sorry. Well, you can only say sorry if you find a goddess who did this and let them live. Then you can apologize. That's the only reason to apologize for. That's above game. Nobody in game said that. I, yeah, I know. Above game, I felt <laughs> that in my soul. <laughs> so speaking of uh, killing cultists, um, let's join Forrest, who sees Rengis come out with a bruise on his face. Oh, hey, you're still out here. Oh, yes. Uh, I don't know the city very well, so I did not wish to wander around. Are, are you all right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, you know. Sibling stuff. Uh, siblings? Oh, yeah, Mac, uh, Mac and me are siblings. Wait, wait. You and Mac? Yeah. The cat? Yeah. Uh, oh. Yeah. The, right, the deity thing. Yeah. Well, Dad doesn't exactly have uh, have a type, so to speak. He does not wear protection much. Like what? What would he wear? I He's a god. Know. What does he need protection from? God protection. I don't know. Uh, he, he very much uh, made us with intent. Ah. Well, fair enough, then. So, are so why are you hanging out out here, though? I do not wish to see Mac. Is there a reason for that? Uh, you will uh, remember that I I do not remember much of uh, my own history. Oh wait, were you around for that? Uh, no, that I've been that told. was the bird in the gnome. Oh yeah. Ah. Very well. Uh, I I do not remember much of my own history. I do not remember my family, or my people, or where I even came from. And I am not sure that I am ready to have any such answers about that. Hmm. Okay. Well, I can I can respect that. Um. They're probably going to be a little bit, though. Uh, so, here, take this. And he gives you an umbrella. Uh, um, thank you? You're welcome. He produced it from nowhere. Is it is it actively raining? Uh, no, but it is a little gray out. And it's is... it's kind of a foggy and moist city. It's kind of, it's kind of like London a little bit. Of course, she just kind of looks up. Looks back at Ren, just, are you about to make it rain? <laughs> no. Not me. Oh. Huh. What if, like, some, some rain? Uh, Ren, just, Yeah? Do you know where I could get a glass eye? Can't say I know off the top of my head, but there is a merchant district in town. They probably have a glass blower or something. 
Would you care to accompany me to the merchant district? Oh, yeah, sure. I got nothing else to do. Ah, oh, excellent. Thank you. So he takes you to the merchant district, and you find not only a glass eye, but also a hen. Yeah. How... <laughs> so, I need I need something more than just a glass eye. Uh, oh. For, for to say, it uh, <coughs> has to be a very specially made uh, glass eye worth roughly a hundred gold. Oh. But uh, let's let's check over. Maybe maybe there is something close to that. Okay, so you um, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. I'm sorry. Um, so he takes you over to a glass blowing shop, and you're attended to by an old man, a fat old man with uh. The top of his head is bald, but the rest of his head is populated by curly white hair that kind of sticks out in all directions. Um, He's rather portly. He's rather tall. Hello. Oh, hi. Hello. My name is Forrest. Uh, Would it be possible to get an eye made? Oh, um, yeah, like a glass eye? Yes, absolutely. Oh yeah, of course. I can make that for it, you. It it does need to uh be made with uh, very specific uh uh designs and uh, I can describe it to you though. So. Oh. Well, I like a challenge, sure. Uh let's see. And uh she <laughs> is uh going to describe this this glass eye. Um with uh arcane symbols uh around part of it as well as uh it needs to be red for the eye color mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. okay okay well uh when do you need a buy uh how soon can you make it Oh, I mean, you know, we got uh, got kind of a heavy work log here. Um, you know, there are a couple things that could help speed along the process, but... Oh, of course, of course. Uh, let me see. Uh, let's see. She's going to... Uh, she's going to pull out her, her <coughs> coin bag, uh, and she's going to... Uh, count out all 90 gold coins that she has plus the extra platinum to pay for the eye and uh an extra three an extra two platinum and say would this be enough to uh have this completed by the end of the day Uh, or at the very least uh at the very least midday tomorrow yeah, come uh, come back in an hour. Ah, absolutely. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, she will she will head out and go to buy a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you find does it have to be a specific arcane chicken? No, no, it just has to be a hen. All right, well, um Go to a small bazaar. Um, It's not that bizarre, though. Um, (laughs) And, yeah, there's a a couple different livestock sellers there, um, including one that's selling chickens. Excellent. Uh, She'll go up to the the chicken uh, seller and uh, say, excuse me, how much uh, for one of your hens? 25 silver. 25 silver? Yeah. Just a diminutive gnome lady. Uh, I want to look around. Does it look like there's a whole lot of customers? Not really. How many chickens does she have? Uh, She's got 
She's got about eight or nine of them in, in little cages. Uh, Force will hesitate for a moment and then sigh and say, oh, very well, 25 silver. And, uh, yes, yeah, she will hand over the 25 silver. Yeah, thanks very much. Here you go. Appreciate it. Thank you. That she'll have this chicken just kind of cradled and, and petting it. Oh my god, that made it so much worse. <laughs> no spoilers, D. <laughs> you already kind of spoiled I know. it, though. I know. I know. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> We're gonna get so attached to this chicken. Put the chicken not in a bucket. Not for long, you're not. <laughs> Quick. Emergency but, uh... <laughs> protection bucket for the chicken. But, uh, let's see. Um, she will also go and buy two other things. Um, just a, like, little bit of fleece and a copper wire. Mm-hmm. Uh, how much do you think those would cost? About a silver each. Okay. Sounds good. And, um... The very final thing uh, that she will do, um, she is going to look for a place to sell a couple of the gems that she has. Uh, you find a uh, you find a jeweler who uh, has their own shop. It's a it's a gnome. Um, kind of, he has a beard that almost reaches the floor. Uh, he's kind of a gangly kind of gnome too. He's like kind of lanky but still you know short still gnome sized okay uh first thing upon uh upon entering the shop and uh going up to the person she will say uh good afternoon i must say i like your beard ah thank you you're quite welcome uh, I have a few uh, jewels that I need uh, appraised and to sell. Oh, okay. And uh, she's just like going to take out a a pouch and just dump uh, four hematite, three obsidian, and a uh, blue quartz onto the uh, onto the the table or counter. Pulling out my DMG right now just so I can get those prices. Oh, shit. You wouldn't happen to know them off the top of your head, do you? Uh, not off the top of my head, no. Okay. Hang on. I don't even remember what page that is. Uh... Let me see. While I'm doing this, I'm just going to run a quick one-minute ad break. Okay. Okay. All right, what were the gems again? Uh, four hematites, three obsidians, and a blue quartz. Blue quartz. Okay, so they're they're all ten gold piece gemstones according to DNG. Okay. Each one of them. Okay. So how many gems in total? Uh, that would be eight. Okay. okay. Once the app breaks over, I'll... Uh... All right. Thank you. Two, one. Okay, and we're back from the ad break. It did not take me nearly as long as I thought it was going to. Um, well, you know, these are uh, these are pretty good. These are good quality for what they are. Um, I can give you about uh, give about eight gold for, you know, per stone. I suppose that would uh, that would cover the cost of the uh, the appraisal. Thank you. All right, here you go. And it gives you uh, sixty four gold. Okay, sixty four. Awesome. Uh, yeah, that, that'll be all. Okay. Uh, just 
on the on the way back, she'll uh, just be talking with Fringes and say, "Thank you very much, Fringes." Oh yeah, no problem. You know, if you uh, you get in trouble with my brother, you know who to call. You would actually respond to it. I mean, I might if I if I feel like messing with him. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Uh, Rangis, can I ask for one more favor from you? Uh, okay. It it will be quick. Uh, let me see. Uh, she's going to look for an alleyway. Just like a. Just some narrow off the off the mm -hmm. main road. There is no shortage of them here in Knack, so you find one pretty easily. Excellent. Uh, she goes into that alleyway, and uh, uh, she is just going to like hold up the uh, the chicken, just kind of hold it up facing her. And say, I do apologize. And then she's going to, uh, she's going to plunge three fingers into its chest. Oh, jeez. And, uh, she is going to reach around a bit and pull out its heart. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. And uh, then she is uh, just going to look at Ringus and say, would you like a chicken to cook? Yeah, sure. Why not? Here you go. And she'll just hand him the uh, the hen's dead body. Ugh. That is how quickly a heart or a hen went to a heart of a hen in my inventory. Uh, thank you, Rangis. Yeah, no problem. Um, she just kind of like tucks the heart into her component pouch. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I I just bye. Have a good one. And he walks away <laughs> with a chicken in hand. <laughs> And she she just kind of like confusedly not understanding <laughs> like not understanding how awkward and oh my god you just killed a chicken in front of me <laughs> that was yeah <laughs> that was that was a bit intense <laughs> so hey let's uh, let's go back to the rest of the party. Unless you were going to do something immediate with that. No, that, that was it. Okay. All right. So, uh, again, um, it's about nine o'clock at night now. Um, you know, all this, all the street lights are on outside. You guys can't see outside because you're, you're in twice old tales right now. Uh, Rathbone is again, cooking, um, Massive amounts of food for everybody. Mac is a little bit disgruntled at that and, you know, kind of just shaking the very tip of their tail like an angry cat does because it's their kitchen. It's their food. Why? Why do they get a chance? Why are they cooking? Whatever. They're the over it. Question, the real question is, can you tell what the Grok's cooking? That would be funny if he was a crocodile, but he's not. <laughs> he's, he's a Komodo. I said, I, they said rock. You could have said shock. Because all the shock is cooking. I know, but I said the rock. Okay, now I don't get it when you say the rock, though. Uh, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. No, I, was... I know the original reference, but... Okay, no, sorry. I thought I thought you misunderstood me and thought I was saying the croc. I thought I heard croc too. Yeah, I thought you were calling okay. him a crocodile. No, no, sorry. I was saying I was saying the rock. Can you smell what the rock is cooking? Okay, I heard a I heard a sea sound, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, moving onward. Moving onward. 
Here we go. Yeah. Does anybody else have anything they want to do in town? Uh, I guess Nova nothing. did want to stop by the the magic shop, if there is one. There is one. And it's still open. We could say you do this before everybody gets together for dinner. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Yeah? Um, uh, hi. Uh, oh, hi. I, 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 I've never done this before. Uh... <laughs> That, um, do you have uh, a uh, looks at list? Uh, brass brazier. A brass brazier. Um. Yes. Oh, do you mean a brazier? Oh, that's how you say that. And yeah, I realize I'm doing the Regis voice again, but whatever. Fuck it. <laughs> You you said it, random person in Peru. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I got those uh, got those right here. Here you go. Clank. Oh, excellent. And uh, and do you also happen to have any? Uh, you see, I need a special blend of uh, of herbs and uh, charcoal. It's uh, charcoal, incense, and. Uh, that looks at this again. Yeah, herbs, incense, charcoal, all the fun things. Oh, yeah, I can uh, I can accommodate those. Uh, I think I know what you're what you're gonna be doing with these. It's like, oh yes. <laughs> Just, uh, oh, I guess also why I'm here. Uh, do you have any uh, maybe magical scrolls? Uh fresh out. Sorry. Oh, okay. I understand. Then yeah. it will just be the all the foot bracer? traffic. Got it. Yeah. All right. So then. for the yeah, just the bracer and the and the mix. All right, that'll be two gold. Uh, wait, are those together or? That's all together. Uh, at least, at least needs to be. Uh, I guess it would need to technically be like 11 gold or something. It is, yeah. He's just kind of offloading. Sure, it's 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 11 gold. Oh, oh value, value, valued it. If it's valued at 10 gold, I think that's fine. I've, I've never been very clear on that. Yeah, it's <laughs> worth the value. He's just like, you get the feeling that he doesn't make this sale very often. So he's probably got okay. a, a lot of braziers and a lot of the... Uh, incense and charcoal mixes okay so then yeah he will pay the two gold as requested then <laughs> da, da, da. thank you very much have fun oh i win okay he bye. returns back to twice old tales <laughs> all right so you guys tuck in for another big meal um and uh it's delicious the end <laughs> Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I know I'm just kind of like breezing through this and railroading it a little bit. I'm. It's been a long day. And I'm tired. It's all good. So, um, yeah, the rest of the evening passes uneventfully. Um, then the next morning, you guys head off to Averhold. All right. And you arrive, and sadly, the players aren't going to be able to see this. But the uh, special little treat for the uh, the viewing audience at home. So once they arrive at Averhold, coming up through uh, one of the southern towns just below it, they crest a hill, and over this hill, they see the marvelous city of Averhold.
<laughs> so yeah, that was uh, so that was the city of Averhold, um, as as drawn by Captain Nemo on Twitter. Uh, thank you so much again for that. Um, very fantastic work done. Um, so let me just switch I things up since we're starting a new chapter. Uh, <laughs> Do you so, think it is bigger on the inside? More it might country. well be. <laughs> so, We've been to a lot of places that are like that. <laughs> this is true. That's true. We, we're now back, uh, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, not for long, because I think uh, showing up here at the gates of Averhold uh, is a wonderful place to pause for the evening. Um, and I didn't give it the majesty it deserved. I will say that much, but I hope everybody has a great night. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, let me see who was online and who we can raid. And we're going to go see Koo Eater. Uh, so, or Shinigami Eater here. Um, so everybody say hello to Ku, and I hope you all have a lovely evening. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye, everybody. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. I killed a chicken on air. <laughs> 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 <laughs>